Hey, happy Thursday, my loves. Welcome back to Tarot by Cherie. We're going to get started and see what divine messages Spirit has for you on this Thursday. How is everybody doing? All right, let's get started. All right, first card up is the Page of Wands. All right, I'm seeing some kind of communication coming in. Page of Wands, I'm talking to you. You're a masculine. You're very smart, by the way. Okay, um, you've been told that before. People have told you that how intelligent you are. Okay, but I'm seeing something going on um, regarding this good news coming. Uh, this has to do with wealth and prosperity. All right, uh, something that's been confusing, though, in the center um, you're waiting on some kind of information that, or some kind of communication, um, from someone, uh, that you actually are moving away from. I feel like this is like not physically moving away, but, um, yeah, physically, but how do I explain this the right way? All right. So, so you're moving away from them emotionally. That's what I meant to say, okay? At the same time, though, there's a lot of things confusing you, and you're you're waiting for some kind of communication from this person, okay? Um, and at the same time, you're kind of making some kind of decision that you don't uh, think this person is going to be good for you anymore. Like, you kind of want to move away from that person emotionally, all right. Yeah. Cause I'm seeing this burden next to this person who is or was a lover. Okay. And then over here, I'm seeing, um, some healing that may need to be done. All right. So in the center, um, you know, this could be quite a bit of healing actually. Okay. Uh, yeah, this, this has to end. There's been a lot of things that have happened in this relationship that you haven't told anyone about you haven't you've kept you've kept your your voice uh closed up about this relationship but there's things that have happened that um you've kept to yourself you've never told anyone all right but you know that this relationship isn't good for you and it looks like you're ready to end it you're ready to move on spirit says you are going to end this relationship all right now i'm seeing some kind of manifestation happening here. All right. So I'm, I'm seeing this single mother with her children. Uh, so you're manifesting some kind of uh, abundance for you and your children. It might be a home, a new home or something along the line of um, something that's going to bring in a lot of celebration. Um, you're going to have enough money and you're manifesting this so kudos to you you're gonna have enough money to to be comfortable you and your children okay uh let's go further mm, okay so somebody's moving toward this knight of cups and this is about love guys i'm seeing this partnership card over here um You've been single for a long time, however, and you've spent a lot of time alone, a lot of time con uh, contemplating things, uh, doing a deep, deep dive on yourself, where you've come from, where you're going. And then you've been going through like this transitional period while you've been spending all this time alone. Now you feel you're finally ready. Okay. My cat is, uh, going through a transition himself <laughs> okay he's uh, feeling playful okay so yeah you're going through some transition here um after spending a lot of time by yourself and you're totally ready for this now okay so let's move on and guys i am still offering a 15 dollars reading if you're interested you can just click on the description below the video and there'll be instructions in there for you all right here I'm seeing somebody, okay, somebody's really going through it today. I'm sending you love and light, okay? You, looks like you just found out about this third party and this, you know, you're looking at this the wrong way though, okay? You're looking at this 
And this happens to us a lot, guys. All right. A third party. You find out about this third party. Okay. And then you blame the, the other woman. You blame the third party or the other man. Okay. And you're blaming the wrong person. Okay. Because that third party could have been anybody. Not the person that your significant chose. If you know what I'm saying, all right? Your significant is a big girl or a big boy and they have choices, okay? And if they love and respect you enough, they're not going to go ahead and go get this third party. So it doesn't mean, you know, we always have a tendency to look in, into ourselves. Like, I'm not good enough. Um, what does this other person have that I don't have? Like, this person, I'm not lovable. You know, my, signif my significant didn't love me enough. Um, they want to be with somebody, you know, and it's hard not to go through all that. I get it. But also you have to look at your significant, you know, um, made that, that decision. Okay. Um, they're held liable. They're the responsible party. Uh, we want to blame the third party because in our minds, this is how we try to trick our minds. We want to leave a space open to stay with this person because we feel like we just can't go on without them. So, um, we're willing to forgive them, even though they're the one who made the mistake and who broke our heart. So we jump over that and, you know, we demonize the other person where half the time the other person doesn't even know that your significant is in a relationship because they're being lied to. And I'll tell you what, guys, you don't, you don't want to be with somebody like that because if they're lying to, uh, someone else, they're, they're, well, obviously they're lying to you. They're cheating on you. All right. They don't have any, you know, they're third dimensional and you're vibrating higher because you're telling yourself, I wouldn't do that. How could they do this to me? I would never do that to somebody I love because you're vibrating higher. That's why you wouldn't. Okay. But if this happens to you guys, don't, you know, look at who, who to blame, uh, directly. Okay. Don't hop over that because chances are, even if you work this out and the significant stays with you, chances are it's going to happen again down the road. But anyway, there is this third party. Um, this has you beside yourself. You're not sleeping. You're not eating. You're crying. Okay. And this is getting in the way of all of your happiness. You're going through all this inner conflict. You're confused. You don't know what to do and that's okay. All right. Uh, this is very painful for all of us when it happens, if it happens, and they want you to take the time to get, you know, clear crystal clarity on this. Okay. All right. Let's move forward. All right. We have the three of wands with the five of cups. Hmm. All right. Somebody's life is, is this morning is in total disarray. I feel like you have to move out of somewhere and you're feeling very sad, very lost. Okay. Um, the one thing you do have going for you is you're a hard worker and you, you've been working on something that hasn't worked out for you. Okay. It, it's, you know, something negative is attached to whatever this is that you're working toward. But at the same time, they want you to keep going with this. I don't know if this is like a side business or something you do on the side, uh, something creative. They want you to keep going because the Eight of Pentacles tells us not only are we hardworking and committed and dedicated, but we're on the brink of achieving something. So don't give up. All right. Even though there is this, you could feel very stuck doing this and maybe even you don't like it anymore because it didn't bring success yet but keep believing in you keep believing in yourself because this card tells you that uh something you know something big is about to uh happen for you okay all right let's move on i'm seeing this knight of pentacles here all right this is a masculine a very patient uh loyal protective masculine um you're very persistent and you're a hard worker. I'm seeing this Ace of Pentacles next to you. So this is for somebody who's hard working and you might be feeling a little like 
you know, something with your self-esteem, you might have lost your job or something. That that's a that sucks when that happens for for all of us because I think most of us, you know, if that's ever happened to you, it does kind of hit your self-confidence a little bit. But you are a very hard worker, okay? And you're very loyal. You're, you know, and persistent. So this is showing that you're going to have a financial new beginning and this new job you're going after or you're going to get is going to bring in security and prosperity to you. There is movement with this. If you haven't gone out and lined up your three interviews yet, do it now. Okay. And here they're showing, uh, this six of pentacles here next to the ace of wands okay so not only are you going to get this job i feel like if you might not be doing the thing that you're most passionate about but the money is going to be really good so so for now this is going to be good for you but i'm also seeing this second stream of income coming in this is going to be unexpected totally unexpected okay and this is money it's assistance, it's sharing wealth and prosperity, it's about giving and receiving and being valued, all right, so something else is going to come in for you, something amazing, all right, and then you have this ace of wands here, which has to do with new beginnings, new starts, creativity, abundance, and things uh, flourishing for you, when these positive things come in, Whatever this is, it's not going to be a one-time deal either. It's going to keep flourishing. It's going to keep coming in for you. All right. Um, let's continue and see what else we have. Uh, by the way, all day yesterday, I kept hearing something. All right. And it was, <laughs> okay, it was one of you. One of you always says something to this effect. I have to see what my girl has to say for today. I have to see what, what my girl, something like that. You're talking about me, all right? And when you watch my video, you refer to me as your girl, which I think is very sweet. Um, but I want to know who you are. So comment if this is you and you refer to me as your girl, I have to check out my girl and see what she's saying today. Um, I hear that. I heard that yesterday. All right. So here I'm seeing this emperor. Um, this is a, a more mature masculine. This is somebody a little bit older. Okay. I'm seeing uh, some kind of This is some kind of uh, spiritual intervention, okay? So you, you might have experienced something and you don't really know what to make of it. Um, you have this balancing out in the middle and this is an angel, okay? And this is a very, for me, this is one of my most spiritual cards. It can be judgment, just like it says, but it's usually something uh, very spiritual, um, meaning you either have a lot of spirit around you, uh, ancestors that have passed over. By the way, I'm reminding you guys, if you're in need of something, you need help, or you just want to uh, pray about something, your ancestors that have passed on, they cannot help you unless you ask them, all right? Um, you have to directly ask them. They're not allowed to intervene unless you do that. But talking to this king, you have all this spirit around you, and I'm seeing you're feeling ignored, maybe alone or ignored or something like that, but something recently happened to you, something very spiritual, and uh, you, you're kind of like, kind of trying to pass it off as if it were nothing, but you know it was something. And I'm seeing that, well, the two of wands is more or less like, it could be making some kind of decision, but it's also um, kind of choosing between two paths a lot of times. So you might be stuck, you know, in the realm that you've always been in, 
Uh, I know the older we get, the more, not always, but a lot of people, you know, like my mom, for instance, you know, people get stuck in, they don't like change, right? So the fact that you had some kind of spiritual awakening or some kind of spiritual, you were touched spiritually somehow, um, you're having an issue um, looking at it as a, a, a spiritual situation, you know, so that you've been touched by maybe an angel or, and speaking of being touched by an angel, um, this morning it was very dark in my room and I have, um, darkening curtains. Okay. And I saw this crazy flash of light that looked like lightning go through my room. Okay. And my first reaction was, Maybe it was the light of a car somehow came through a window. I've never seen anything like this, okay? And I've been living in my home for over 17 years. And um, I know that when you're visited by an angel, they show up as flashes of light. So I didn't mention that in yesterday's video, guys, that that could be part of your ascension too, is seeing these flashes of light in the dark, all right? But... I have room darkening, um, curtains that were shut tight and how my windows, where they are, how my, my house is situated. It's not really near the street. Uh, it's on the back of the house. So yeah, it was very interesting. I, <laughs> I did get a little, uh, nervous and then I was able to calm myself down and, and kind of say to myself, that was pretty cool. Yeah. It looked like a flash of lightning go across the wall in my room. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end the reading here. Uh, you guys are awesome. You know how I feel about you. I love you all. I hope you have a wonderful Thursday. And we'll see you tomorrow. Take care.